Okay, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And today we have another Lego puzzle box that we are going to be attempting to solve. Uh, this puzzle was created by Cheat3. Uh, we have solved one of their puzzles before in the past. Um, that puzzle we did before was a level five. This one is a level seven. So we are um, kicking it up a notch here. And let's see if we can solve it. So I guess we should just jump right in then. Uh, I hope you like that intro, by the way. <clears throat> okay. So obviously, this 1x4 tile is our tool. Does that puzzle look? Anyways, so you can tell here by these bricks, they're transparent, meaning they don't have a center tube. Meaning that they can slide. So already we are seeing sliding movement. Uh, we have a small hole right here. There's another one there. Uh, this one has the exact same mechanism here with the sliding movement. And something must be locking it because we can't slide it quite yet. And there's another opening over here. And the top is just tiled off and this is the bottom. So the first thing I'm just gonna try to do is we can close this. Put the dial in here, see what happens. Of course, nothing happens, so we're gonna slide it over and try again. Ooh! So, uh, we have a tile, came out the other side. Perfect. And now, do we have sliding movement here? Yes, we do. And what happens? if we were to push down back on this. Anything? Oh! Wow! So another tile popped out. Now, what would happen if we uh, slid this back and pushed? Okay, so now I have both of these tiles back out and I think I know the mechanism that we are dealing with here uh, it's of course, there's probably one or two sliding tiles, and tiles, and tiles. Wow, that was a really weird voice crack. Anyways, <laughs> so there are two sliding tiles, or, or maybe more, but um, I could see on the inside that there are some tiles, and tiles, and depending on the orientation you have these in, for example, the tiles lining tiles, those line up, so... If you were to push this one back in, you could push on the red one, and then of course, um, you could just put it back in here to get the tile to come back out again. So that's what we're dealing with, and with just the sliding movement, it, it adds a, another level of difficulty. So, okay. All right. Um, yep, what does that have to do with the actual solving? I don't know. Ooh, I hear something rattling around in there. It's very hard to see in these uh, little openings. Okay. So, I hear some rattling, but I can't really make the sense of what's actually going on. See, I can't, there's a piece in there that's sliding around, and I can't tell in the way it's oriented. I I think it's a one by two tile, just by looks. So I can't tell the which way it's oriented. Um, so that just, it makes it so much harder looking through these little holes right here. I'm just trying to rattle it around, doing these shaking, subtle movements. Um, okay, I think by the way it's oriented, 
it's sort of like this. So, that would mean, we see the tile that we pushed from the inside is just right here. I think that's actually blocking the way of the tile over there. So, let's try, let's push the two tiles back in. So, there's one on the inside here. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the other tile first. Wait. Wait, no. No, I made it worse. I shouldn't have done any of the tiles. Okay. Okay. That should get it out. And then I push this tile back in, slide it here, and then put this tile back in to make room for this red one to come out. Uh, hello. What are you doing in here? Wait, it's green. I think it's our money piece. Oh. Okay, I need to block all ways. I think we just found ourselves the solution. So we can push this in. We can push this in. We can push this in. No! We shouldn't have done that. Whoop. Whoop. Come on. Hey! So we solved this puzzle. The solving experience is actually a little shorter than I thought it would be, but that, that's fine. I guess I'm just advancing and solving puzzles. So what I want to do is crack this thing open and see what we were dealing with the entire time. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, two of these sliding parts right here. And then we have this central bit in the middle. Yeah, I don't want to rip that off. And then he just had a few sliding tiles. So we had this one right here. We had uh, these two. And then there's another one each on these sliding walls. So... Um, Oh no, I forgot which way. Yeah, I think it went this way. Yep, it went this way. So where's the money piece at? That was, that's a real question. So I can tell. I'm really just guessing here, but there is a little one by two opening. I'm guessing it was here? I really don't know. Let's, hold on, let's see where that lines up on the actual box. Okay, so it lines up right here i want to solve this again but without the roof and i think that's just going to make it a little bit easier so we obviously need to all right this this is locked uh, okay so um So much harder. Uh, we first slide this wall over, put it through the hole to release the brown tile. We push that out so we can put it back through the hole to release the red tile, sort of. Then I think we slide it. We slide the red one. And then we push so that we can release this yellow tile in there, allowing our money piece to drop into this little opening, I'm, I'm assuming. And then we have to drag it here, but we need to find this white tile so it has extra room. And then we should be able to slide this down. Now, I think what we could have done 
was we could have, um, it was actually what I was trying to do before. We slide both of these tiles so that we could just make it come out this way. But we must have somehow turned it for it to, when we slide this piece, for it to come out. Uh, this hole right here. So uh, I guess we found uh, a little bit of an easier solution, but we still got the green uh, tile. Um, so it's still a solve. And let's just put this thing back together. Really good solve, by the way. Think of me and my these puzzles. So um, that's really going to cover it for today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video.